everyone. This is another submarine video game. This is called New Boat. It's basically the movie that's good if we were to make it into a game. I've only played a little bit of it so far. Not super good at it. I'm still kind of getting a feel for everything. But it is a fun game uh, from what I've seen so far. It's like a squad management or crew management game, kind of like FTL. Uh, there's morale uh, for the crew and everything that you have to worry about, so it's kind of like a mix of FTL and uh, what's that? this war of mine, where you're kind of keeping uh, the people in check, just like you are with the game. So, this will load in in a second. We uh, always start, at least in sandbox, we're supposed to be a campaign eventually. Start out at La Roche or La Rochelle, however you actually say that. Uh, but this is our boat, U96. Uh, if you've seen Das Boot, that little. Kapitän, das kann deine neue Crew sein. Lassen Sie mich wissen, wenn Sie Ihre Dokumente sehen möchten. Let's get away from this. The little swordfish thing here is also on U96. So I think it's a pretty direct. Uh, yeah, so this is where we start. Uh, there's a few things we can do here, just to give you a reference. We are right off the Bay of Biscay in France, and you can pretty much go anywhere that you see a grid. So it's a pretty open game. You'll usually get a patrol of just one grid and then have to go through it a certain amount and then come back and report your findings or sink anything you see essentially. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we will pick our captain here and then take him Beim to the officer here. This is where we can get assignments. Gute Arbeit. Uh, you always get an option of three. Dies sind die heutigen Aufträge von BDU. Streng geheim. So let's see what we get. Espionage and two patrols on medium and high difficulty. The only real difference uh, between these seems to be the distance you have to travel inside of the sector. Uh, so it doesn't really particularly matter. So let's just go with the high difficulty one. Travel 2,500 kilometers inside the marked area. So we'll take a look at the map in a second. But first, since we're here, let's look in the headquarters. So this is where you do research for your sub, different parts and upgrades and new weapons and stuff like that. Uh, what seems to be a kind of necessary pickup kind of early is a snorkel. Uh, this lets you use your diesel engines while at periscope depth, which is huge because you don't want to be just sitting out deck awash or fully out of the water in enemy territory to recharge your electric engines. So being able to use diesel engines while still underwater is pretty good. We don't have an engineer to use uh, for this. We do have two engineers on our boat right now, I think. Let's go ahead and exit really quick and look. Yeah, yeah. we do have two engineers here. I like having two engineers on the boat, so let's see if we can recruit so this is where you pick up new crew. Uh, I have not actually picked up anything before. Okay, there's no other engineers. So I guess we'll have to tough it out with just one engineer. Send one of them to do the research. So, Kapitän, das kann deine neue Crew sein. Lassen Sie mich wissen, wenn Sie Ihre Dokumente sehen. I think you have to go möchten. here to dismiss crew from your boat as well. Crew management. Here we go. Oh, never mind. There is another way to get to this. Anyway, let's take this guy off. And we don't have all the normal crew loaded up yet either for some reason. So let's just add another one of these randos down here. Now we got a full crew. Uh, we're missing an officer right now. But that's fine because we have this one right here, who is sitting on the shore. So we can pick them up and have five. Now we're gonna have two sonar-oriented officers, which is not as good as having two engineer officers, 
just because engineers have a lot of flexibility. But it doesn't really matter. We just want five officers. Later on, you can do upgrades where you can have a larger crew and uh, things like that. So, so let's go back to the HQ. We'll find where the snorkel was. Uh, so this is going to be a 12-day assignment. This happens in-game time, so while we're traveling out on patrol, it takes a while, because sometimes your patrol, just to get to the sector, you have to travel thousands of kilometers. So 12 days, we're probably going to be able to pick this up after the patrol. If not, after the patrol after that. So he's all loaded up. We've got all our officers. Uh, you can customize all the guys, which is kind of fun. Uh, you do see them a fair amount of the game, so it's nice being able to choose. There's a few things that they don't really have in the game yet, like you can't change their voice yet. It's not a huge deal. I mean, especially when you don't speak German, you just hear these guys yelling in German, and it's like, all right, this is enough to kind of sell me here. Uh, so this is all just cosmetic stuff. It doesn't affect anything really. But it's kind of fun to mess around with, I guess. Uh, as a captain, of course, he has to has have some accessories. Let's give him some binox and a pipe, because how can you not? Over here we see skills, so I have not unlocked any of this stuff in any playthrough I've done yet, so I really don't know how it works. But uh, you start with two, always, I guess. Uh, a captain is obviously going to be a leader. They are going to be the ones that can use periscopes and stuff like that. Uh, oh, okay. This is a perk I haven't seen before called Connections. So I could send him in place of an engineer just because he has every class requirement. So if you really don't want a captain on your ship, I guess you can send him. Anyway, that's all we really need to do. Uh, everyone else... Uh, well, I guess we can look at the skills. Let's see if we have... Oops, I just sent some of the rest on accident. Yep, expert, radio man. I'm seeing if we have a cook. Uh, cooks can help raise morale. Nice, we have one. Okay, Felix West, our engineer, the sole engineer on our ship, uh, can also be assigned to work in the galley. Uh, this can provide a discipline bonus, which can be huge. Because sometimes you're stuck in an area where you can't surface and get out of alert, which is basically combat ready uh, level in your ship. And your people Kapitän. start getting stressed out very quickly. Was brauchst du, Herr Kaloy? So, being able to just have someone cook something for a little bit to raise that is huge. Schau mal. So now we're looking at the the storage room, which is where you can re-up on supplies and stuff like that. Uh, I actually just failed a game of running out of food, which I'm not really too upset about. I mean, I'm still just kind of figuring out how much you need of everything. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up a few more things now. Uh, the first mission I did was a really short patrol, and that was finished pretty quickly, and I had a ton of food left. I bought a little bit more food and then did an espionage mission, which required me to move much slower to maintain stealth, and I was just still getting the feeling for how the mission worked, and I ran out of food. So I know there's no real way around dealing with that, you just need the food. So I just went ahead and restarted. Uh, so anyway, I just picked up a whole bunch of stuff, We should be good for a long while here. I don't think there's really anything else we need uh, besides maybe some coffee. This helps in a pinch if your guys are tired and can't afford to have them go to bed for a few hours during combat. Uh, we need to top off our fuel tanks. Fuel is really cheap, thankfully. Uh, HE caliber. Uh, I think sometimes it's good to pick up some small caliber HE, but we're not going to worry about it right now. We're already filled up on our inventory of food. Um, so, the only thing we're missing besides that is torpedoes. 
and we can actually wait a little bit and a couple more of these are going to get loaded up. When you first start, the torps are not actually loaded in the tubes yet, so if we wait for just a little bit, we'll be able to load everything up and then buy some more. So we can go ahead and go forward in time a bit here and just... We basically loaded all the things we just got from the warehouse. That takes time in-game to do. Uh, so it's really easy to just get through that with a click. Uh, so let's see what's going on with the torpedo situation. So this is how we look at our boat. You can also go in first person, which is cool, but I don't do it that much. Uh, it seems pretty easy to play the whole game in this view if you want. Uh, besides shooting torpedoes and stuff, but that's for a later time. So, anyway, let's look in our torpedo launchers. We currently have everything all loaded up. You can see there's only three in storage now, because the rest are here. Uh, we also have a torpedo tube in the, in the stern, which I didn't know that was a thing until I started playing this game. So that's kind of neat. Anyway... Let's go back to the warehouse. Was brauchst du, Herr Kaloy? Pick up some torps, and then we're pretty much going to be ready to go. Schau mal. We can't upgrade our boat just yet, just because we haven't done any research. That's why that one engineer is not on the boat anymore. So we will be able to do stuff with that when we get back. But for now, all this money we can just put into torpedoes if we want. Uh, you're always going to use these. I mean, it's not like they go bad. So, besides wanting to save up money for some kind of upgrade later, there's no real reason to not buy these now, as far as I've discovered. Uh, but we don't need all of them. I mean, we can always come back to La Roche and pick up more things later. Uh, T1 and T2, these are two different types of torpedoes. Um, I like to have a mix of both, although to be honest, I haven't fired a torpedo in this game, besides in the tutorial. I just have managed to avoid combat so far. Uh, but anyway, T1 is a steam-powered torpedo. It's reliable, but it's easy to spot, and I think it moves kind of slowly. I'm not sure about that. T2 is yes. an electric torpedo that's quiet, but I think it has a very high failure rate. So it's stealthy, but you usually have to fire more than one, and there's a chance that neither of them will work. Alright, so all that aside, let's go ahead and look at our map here. So we're going to sector AM, which if we zoom out, can see his highlight over here so we're going to be right off the uk that's great that's going to be awesome i guess so we can go ahead and start setting some waypoints for our ship to start leaving port threading the gap through the bay there and let's go ahead and start here why not? We can do some kind of zigzag thing, but there's a chance our orders are going to change before we get there anyway. Uh, so, we have our route set. You can zoom in pretty far in this view, which is kind of neat. This is a separate view from the pivot view here. And then there's section view. And then, if I have one of these guys selected, I can go into first person in this terrifying view. Make him leave the position, and now we are this person. We can walk around the boat. I don't know how perfectly recreated this is in terms of realism, but it is pretty fun being able to walk through. And I still haven't figured out how you actually do it in manual mode, but you can use a hydrophone in first person if you want. You can use a periscope in first person. You can set up your firing solution and stuff like that, which is pretty fun. Uh, let's see. Uh, Captain. Move position. So, I don't do this a ton, but it is fun being able to. It's definitely a point in the game's favor. So, there's... You'll see a lot of different gears and stuff. These are all the different tools and things. 
gadgets and whatnot in the ship. And some people can't use everything. Like an engineer can mess with the engines, but some of the other people can't. Like the sonar, the sonar officer. Um, so this is the rear of the ship. We got our couple different compressors. This is our uh, aft torpedo tube. Yeah, it's pretty neat. There's a lot here that I can't really explain without making it boring, so I just won't. But you'll probably see more of it as we play. Let's see, how do we get out of this? There we go. Okay, so you can see he's back there now because we just piloted him back there and now he's just clueless. Uh, anyway, let's f see. Everyone's pretty rested up. Actually, let's go ahead and get started here. Why not? So we have our course set. We're not going to crash into anything if we start moving here. So let's go ahead. Uh, by default, we're on the surface. We're going to be using our diesel motors. We have a ton of fuel. So it's going to be totally fine. Let's go forward. Standard speed. Was brauchst du, Herr Kaloy? Whoa. Uh, okay. That was weird. Anyway, uh, here we go. We're leaving port. Everything's going great. It is 6.30 p.m., so we're going to be traveling under the cover of night soon here. It's going to take a while to get all the way over here, so it's probably going to be... Oh, I don't know. Probably like almost a week at sea before we even get there. So it doesn't really matter what time we leave now anyway. But uh, there is time for pressing the game. Oh, let's check our radio really quick. Our radio man, Newman. What do you got for us? Yeah, hello. We have to manually give him the order to actually uh, decode the message. So that's what he's doing right now. So. This is filled up. We'll be able to read it. They sound. It probably just wants us to have a good patrol. It's probably just something from Berlin just trying to hype us up. So kind of boring, but it is what it is. Okay, uh, this guy does not need to be cooking right now. So usually, uh, some good things to do that I found and what I've heard from other people. Uh, you can use these little slots. These are like ensigns or people that you set to work under these guys and it'll boost their efficiency. So with the diesel engine, if you add additional sailors, for instance, if you have two, you have all the gears on the boat unlocked instead of just uh, fourth gear forward, third gear backwards. Uh, so you can go faster in both directions and your fuel usage also drops by quite a bit. 30% with two people, which is pretty big. Uh, we're also going to get Kohler. Uh, Her Hilbert Kohler. Uh, we're going to put him on the navigation table. He doesn't need to be cooking right now. <coughs> we just left port. It's fine. We'll put him on the navigation table. And as you can see, he's got similar bonuses. Uh, better navigation, so we save fuel and energy. So having uh, these guys fully staffed up, seems to really make your fuel go a long way which can be really helpful when you're traveling like the friggin like africa or something like that and you know trying to make it back on one tank of gas can be a big deal from what i've seen let's see what this message is oh, that's our old one have a fruitful patrol thanks berlin it's exactly what i thought it would be Let's go ahead and speed up time. Let's just get out of the Bay of Biscay here. So we're moving a little slow, even on max time compression here. But once we start getting away from the mainland, <coughs> here it's happening right now. We go in the travel mode. And this, it just shortcuts travel time, essentially. It'll let you know if you see anything, you know, if anything enters your line of sight here, or if you're below the surface, if your hydrophones are picking up anything. So there's no real danger from what I've seen from just speeding up time. So you're not being punished for 
not wanting to just sit here and play this game in real time. It sounds like there's a storm. That's not good too. That's kind of cool. Uh, this will help with our visibility, which is always nice. Uh, <laughs> I can't mouse over it because of this fear, but I think our lighting's a little bit glitched. It says we have plus 367% visibility. But in reality, at the top, it's only 14%. So this is all in our favor. This difficult weather is just making it harder for us to be surrounded right now. Uh, let's see. Everything here is going good. This is basically the status of the ship. Broken down the numbers. Oxygen level, fuel, battery capacity, discipline, which is your crew morale. Uh, reputation and budget are like the resources you use to buy upgrades and stuff like that. But uh, for now, we're just kind of going along with it. Uh, these guys are kind of half asleep right now, or they're, they have half their energy left. So we're just going to go ahead and send some to sleep. Uh, you're usually going to be rotating these guys out just so they're actually like not all sleeping at the same time or all awake at the same time. That usually doesn't help a ton. Uh, this is weird. This is in different order than it is down here, which usually doesn't happen. So that's a little confusing. But it's fine. Uh, this guy's asleep right now. We could send the radio guy to sleep. So let's put this guy on the radio. Newman, who's in the middle. Send him to sleep just so he can top off his energy levels. And uh, you always want someone navigating because otherwise you literally don't know where you are <laughs> in the ocean. You can just be drifting in a current or just lose sight of where you think you're going because it's the ocean, there's no landmarks. Uh, so we want to keep this uh, guy here for now. He is getting kind of tired, but in the meantime, let's cycle out our engineer and get him to sleep too. Oh, shoot. Since it's... Ugh, I'm used to... Since this guy's on the left... You would think he'd be on the left up here. Uh, this guy's supposed to be on the radio. West. Go to sleep, buddy. Okay. Speed up time again. Uh, these guys gain energy slower than I would have thought. Uh, it's, it seems relatively realistic. In terms of like, yeah, you need like six to seven hours of sleep to get a decent amount of energy back. All right, we are about to enter our sector. We already have someone on the radio, which is nice. Uh, we are surfaced off the coast of England, which is not a great play. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and get to this view. We can go ahead and drop. This is these are some preset depths we can go to. We'll go ahead and go down to deck a wash. This just means we're half submerged, so. We can still see things easily with our periscope, but we can still use diesel engines as well without having to rely on electric. Uh, once we have the snorkel, that won't be as much of an issue, but until then, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get down. And this is something that actually does take a while, so if you speed up time, you'll see you actually do hit that depth, but it's hard to tell sometimes, just because of how slow it happens if you're actually going anywhere. Alright, uh, so we have Max Discipline. Uh, we're also in our sector. I should have had us uh, some music playing as we got here, but we can do that on the way back. That helps with discipline, and it also just kind of shakes up the game. Like, a lot of songs are from the Das Boot movie, which is pretty cool. Anyway, uh, let's see. We basically just need to travel 2,500 kilometers inside the marked area. So we don't have to go like right off the coast if we don't want to. That sounds a little ridiculous. Um, but it would make sense to kind of get the difficult stuff out of the way first. And we don't want to cheese it too hard and just do this. That's, that's not very fun. So let's kind of go... Like this. That's, uh, whatever. Like 1300 already. So if we do something like this, 
That'll probably be 2,500 or close enough that it doesn't really matter. And then we can catch a little bit more zigging out of the sector this way. So we have our course set. Uh, these will automatically be followed. We don't have to worry about individually adjusting the rudder, although we can. Uh, it's kind of cool that you can manually set this stuff if you want. Uh, I am still figuring everything out. I'm totally fine having my trained crew do it for me since I'm the captain. I don't have to do everything. Uh, our navigation man, our first mate, our first officer, is getting pretty tired. So we're going to go ahead and send our captain over here to take over. And we'll put uh, poor Hilbert to sleep. God knows these aren't good. So, yeah, what? sleep, my son. We'll send you, Klaus, to the station. So he just took over the job. Since we did it pretty lickety split, we didn't lose our spot. But if you leave the navigation table empty, you literally just don't know where you are on the map. It just shows an empty world map. Which, during combat, might not be the worst, but when you're trying to navigate the sector, it's kind of important. You don't want to just be driving straight towards land or anything like that. So, uh, let's, we're not in travel mode anymore, so we're going to be moving a bit slower, even on max time compression, so let's just go ahead and speed up and just see if we encounter anything. Ships just kind of run themselves, uh, well, it helps if I tell these people to do things. They will just sleep when you tell them to sleep and just keep sleeping, which I guess is nice, because you don't want them to just awake not doing anything just getting fatigued, but uh, it also helps to actually pay attention. I've been talking, so I kind of haven't been. But it's fine. Uh, I guess we shouldn't be surfaced either. I see we're still running diesel, which is fine for now, but the second we see anything, we should probably stop. Uh, we're in enemy territory right now, so it's not the worst idea to start warming up torpedoes. Uh, this just preps them to be shot, and it you don't have to do it, but it does make the odds of the torpedo working properly go up a lot. I think it also makes them fire faster. Uh, so he's going to start heating up our tubes. Uh, Newman. We already have someone on the radio, so we will put this guy on the hydrophone. Uh, this isn't going to work above surface, but we're just going to have him sitting there. Actually... No, wait a minute. Let's do him. No, he can't do observation. That's right. Yeah, that's fine. We'll leave him on hydro. Uh, this guy, Hilbert, he's actually still kind of tired, so he, he can get his beauty sleep. We'll leave him there for now. Let's see. It is currently 2 a.m., so we don't have to worry a ton about visibility at the moment. We don't have any lights on. Uh, we aren't going to gain anything by going underwater right now unless we just want to scan with our hydrophone really quick to see if we hear anything, which isn't the worst idea. Let's go Auf ahead. Auf tief again. Uh, one thing I haven't even done at all yet is change the lights. So, we're actually getting a boost from normal lighting right now, so I'm not going to change it just yet, but I believe during the day... Uh, you can Wechseln set e -Motor. either on blue or red lights, which is going to cut the crew's oxygen use a bit. Because <coughs> blue is, I think, silent running, but also sleep. Slash, I don't really understand how it works. I've just been looking at the stats, and it seems like that's the right move. Um, but anyway, we're fine with normal lighting for now. This one's still good. Our oxygen's dropping because we're periscope deaf. So this is the main thing we have to worry about. Dropping the fastest, our air gain stale. Uh, definitely, it's pretty hard to uh, be a human without oxygen. So that's important to manage. Uh, we also have to worry about battery capacity. Now that we're underwater, our diesel uh, doesn't have any air to actually function. So, we're running on electrical engines right now. 
it's much quieter, which is good, or at least I think it is. Uh, in modern subs, it definitely is, but it's just a way to travel underwater without diesel. And it's important to manage battery capacity because there's a few things that batteries also need to use or also need to be used for. Like if our oxygen's too level, too low, we do have a ventilator we can turn on, which is of course very loud. Um, but that'll run off battery. There's also a couple different compressors. Uh, there's a diesel compressor, which runs off diesel and can be used on the surface. But there's also an electrical compressor and what that does is builds up your compressed O2. Um, compressed O2 is what you use to flush your tanks when you're submerging and ascending. So it's just something we're gonna have to do throughout as we surface and uh, descend and just keep doing that over and over again because that uses up our tanks. Okay, we still haven't run into anything. Our hydrophones don't hear anything. So we can probably take this guy off the hydrophone for now and get back to at least decks a wash just so we can use diesel again. Uh, we're doing fine with battery capacity, but I don't see a reason to not use fuel instead of that right now. So let's get this guy off of the hydrophone. I guess there's not really anything else he can do besides play cards. Uh, playing cards raises our discipline, which is not at 100% right now, so yeah, sure, play some cards. Uh, we will go ahead and speed up time again. Kohler, our first mate, is getting a little bit more rested. Be able to pull him out and have him do something else soon. But for now, we're just going to see what happens. What's going on here? We still have someone navigating, so we didn't lose our place on the map. We just seem to be stuck. Let me try adjusting the course and see if that changes. Oh, I see. The batteries are depleted. Even though we're at Dex Wash. Apparently we're still not high enough to use diesel. Let me check, can I just switch? Nope. Huh. Okay, well, I guess we have to be surfaced all the way. Alright, well, I was just talking about how I didn't want to run out of battery and I immediately did, so let's... So yeah, you can see it immediately filled back up. We basically just need to get up and running our diesel for a very small amount of time to recharge our batteries. Uh, and you can see here, this is showing our compressed air low since we just surfaced. So we can actually, you can see our ship, or boat. Uh, it's daytime, but we're still pretty far away from land. Uh, here's some kind of fun stuff. Apparently, a lot of sub games have this, but I don't play many sub games. Anyway, uh, there's some kind of fun tools you can use to draw to like get ideas on things, like someone's course based on a couple reference points and stuff like that. We're still 70 kilometers off the coast. That's not terribly close. So I'm not really too worried about running into anything out in the open water. At least before we see them first, whether it's a smokestack or if we hear them, uh, if we're doing one of our periscope dives just to hear them on hydro. So I think we're okay on the surface for a while, and I don't think we have to worry about being too loud. So let's go ahead and get our guy back by our engine. Felix, Felix West. Let's just go have them turn on the air compressor, the diesel one, <coughs> specifically. So you'll see this is quite loud when it turns on. It takes away from your selfishness. It makes her noise by decibels. I'm not sure how good the boats are at picking up on this stuff. I'm not actively looking for it already. 95 decibels doesn't seem super loud. The 
just the normal prop sounds and flow noise of like a ship doesn't seem much quieter than this. So I think it'd be difficult for them to hear us. Oops. I'm still using my tools here on accident. Uh, so you'll see, I've seen in other videos of people playing this, like they'll be drawing lines. Like let's say uh, the line I'm drawing right now is the a ship's current course. They'll kind of have these outside things showing like a reasonable area of movement they could try and hit. And then, you know, just being able to use these tools to find your angles and stuff like that. Well, I don't know how to use this apparently, but. Lebensieden course on! Whoops, I didn't mean to do that either. Oh well. Maybe I'll figure it out later. But you can draw in manual points and use your protractor and get angles and figure out exactly where to shoot your torp if you don't want to use your officer's recommended firing solution. So maybe we'll do some of that, maybe we won't. Uh, it would certainly be more interesting if we found someone here, but it's honestly a pretty fun game either way. I mean, we're almost certainly going to run across someone, uh, whether it be a merchant vessel or whatever. So I think there's a decent chance we'll be able to shoot a little bit. But we'll see what happens. Alright. Back in this view. As you can see, this bar is filling up, showing up how much of the marked area we have to patrol. I think it's going to be pretty easy to get all this. And I think it's random where you run the ships anyway, but we are farther from the coast. So now that we're kind of finishing our patrol here, it should be easier to disengage if it becomes an issue. So we won't be pinched between the land and whatever boat we find. So it's been pretty uneventful. Uh, we might get letters, or sorry, we might get a message from HQ for another mission. Uh, okay, well, aircraft are pretty spooky in this game. I paused time, so we don't have to worry about this just yet. But, oops, that. Oh, it's also one in the morning, so I think it'll be pretty easy to miss this guy. Oh. Our captain is very tired. Whoops. Sorry, Graf. Laughs Graf. Go to sleep, my friend. Uh, so let's get these guys set up. This guy's... Man, I was really not paying attention to this stuff since I'm recording a video right now. Uh, let's get these guys doing stuff, just so we actually have a clue here. So, let's get Becker our radio guy on the hydrophone. Let's get Kohler on the radio. This guy, Newman, go to sleep. Felix is pretty tired. Um, let's look at our situation. I need to change the lights too. Okay, none of these are warm. Uh, well, it's an aircraft, so we don't have to worry about it. So let's have him switch the lights, and then we'll put this in the lights. Let's just see what blue lights do. Now normal light in this game is giving us a negative 10% uh, discipline. Also send out uh, this report to HQ that we spotted an aircraft in the area. Let's see what's up. Oh yeah, I should probably dive too. <laughs> Completely forgot. Let's. Alarm! Alarm tauchen! Let's dive 100 200 meters. meters. Let's also. We already have standard speed. We just put our engineer to sleep, so we don't have access to the faster speeds. That's fine. Let's just course, our course diese and dive 
So hopefully we'll lose this plane. There's a chance it didn't even spot us anyway, but it's impossible to tell until it starts dropping things on us. So it behooves us to try and shake this guy. Of course it's dark out, so it's really difficult to see the uh, subframe right now with the sides of section. But we can always look at our depth meter here. We can see we were still on the surface. Uh, surfacing and submerging actually does take a while in this game. Uh, I think it would be a little bit faster if we had an engineer on the depth steer right now. But our only engineer is See the planes coming back around. Uh, we're below water now, so maybe we can change. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Throw them off even more. Hopefully, uh, I can draw this. Hopefully, he'll assume we're still on our current course here. If he had some kind of sonar, he probably saw our current course, which is this way. So if we just basically completely go the opposite direction, hopefully that'll give us a chance to kind of get away. Uh, by traveling like this, I don't know well how it works with airplanes. I don't think we'll be able to hear him. I think it's just line of sight. So it doesn't matter if he's in or back. So we're fine. We'll, Legen Sie den Kurs we'll just divert course a bit here. We'll see what happens. So, let's go back into section one. I can't see shit. Uh, our current depth is draining our discipline pretty quickly. Uh, you're not supposed to be at depth for any significant amount of time, really, which makes sense. So, that's something we're definitely going to have to watch out for. After a while, we won't be on alarm, so we can have some of the crew play cards and stuff again, which will help a lot with discipline. Everyone that's really tired is asleep. Other than that, we have our hydrophones and our radios being used right now. We can't really use our radio this deep, I don't think. So I could probably have Kohler do navigation. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm not sure how we're hearing this aircraft. Let's see, does it explain where? I guess not. However we're just detecting this, whether it be our hydrophones or whatever, um, it seems to be moving away. So I think we pretty much lost them. But we'll just stay at 100 meters for a kilometer or so, then we'll surface and just kind of continue our route and get out of here. Oh, there is a new objective. Is that in the message? So this drop down has a couple I guess you can have multiple missions at once. For some reason it deselects your current one quite a bit, or at least in my experience. Uh, so let me check the other transmissions, because I swear it just said something about another patrol being continued or something. Captain. Let's see. Let's get them on the radio. Yeah, so boy. It's nice it tells you what the reception range is at the current time. To be fair. So now this is on. I think I can check the radio messages from the past. I'm not 100% sure how all this stuff works yet. Oh, 
I'm dumb. I was reading the top. I thought this was the most recent one. Whoops. Uh, so, well, we have different orders now. And believe it or not, we're kind of already heading that way with our diversion course. So, just like I planned, uh, we have information that Crucial Tech has been loaded on the freighter Liberty. It must be sunk at all costs. Uh, then it gives us a general location of where it is. Which, because I saw it on the map, out of happenstance, it's the direction we're already heading. So, let's go ahead. We'll still Course off diese go Koordinaten here setzen. and then surface. But after that, we can start heading this way. Course off diese Koordinaten setzen. Uh, let's go ahead and mark their position. This is a very rough, very rough idea of their position. But we have this point here, and we're going to use it as a reference. So by the time we're over here, we'll see where they are next, and we can start to get an idea for their course. Oops, we we're already moving. Okay, we're entering the open seat. We're in travel mode again, so obviously the aircraft was not an issue. We're still at 100 meters, which is probably not great on our crew's mental health. So let's go ahead and surface again, or at least deck a wash. Still at 90% discipline. It is 2 a.m., so Visibility is going to be pretty low on the surface either way, I think. Just for cleanliness sake. Let's get rid of that stuff. Aircraft appears to be very far away. There is a propeller noise here, which I did not see before. I'm not sure when that popped up. Perhaps when we were freaking out about the aircraft. Interesting. Let's see what that is. I know we have to sink this at all costs, but I think... Oh, that appears to be going for the west. Huh. Well, let's see if we can ascertain what this is. It's probably not anything worth pursuing. I mean, I guess we can just sink whatever it is. But it seems like a decent sized group. It's not like we're going to be able to kill all six things and get to this in a reasonable amount of time. But maybe we can take a couple pot shots at whatever this is. Uh, our engineer is still a sleepy boy, but we have 70 kilometers to go. So we'll wake him up at some point around here, I think. And get them start warming up some tubes. Maybe we'll see what this is. It appears to be moving rather quickly. It's southwest. So an intercept course. Actually, I should be marking this. I'm guessing they appear to be moving this direction. Oh, that was the wrong tool. Oops. Huh. That was a tool I haven't used before. Interesting. Well, if they pop up again, I'll put the point down. Alright, so we're not picking them up on the hydrophones anymore, just because we're so close to the surface. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor. Switching back to our diesel, we'll charge up our batteries here. Instantly recharged. So, it was still worth Auf Seerohrtiefe gehen! So we'll, up. we'll get our hydros picking up stuff again. Maybe we can see what that was. This appears to just be getting farther and farther away. Almost directly west. And we're, it's kind of annoying. You can't really click right on your boat. But I'll just select above it and go over here. 800 kilometers, which is pretty damn far. I don't know what their course is or anything, although it appears to be pretty much directly west. But, like I said, we'll go down here, we'll see if we can at least figure out what this contact here was, and then we will continue on to the Liberty ship. OK, 
Okay, I guess we have to be a little lower for our hydros to do. Oh, never mind. We do have our hydros. Alright, yeah, let's just. Okay, completely lost the propeller noise apparently. Must not have been that important. Let's go ahead and switch our course back here. Let's see, we're at periscope depth, so we are using our batteries again. Let's go ahead. It's. It's daytime, so we probably don't want to surface for long. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, it's daytime and the blue lights are on and these guys are fine with this problem. So, yeah, I think it's, if you keep blue lights during the day, white lights at night, I think that's the best for the discipline. Which is kind of weird. If you're thinking like people like that. <coughs> but it is what it is. Ooh, I wonder if we're gonna finish our patrol in time. It kind of looks like it. I wonder if there's a way to see exactly how many kilometers I still need. There's this bar that fills up, but I don't know if it's this amount. We can always zigzag a little bit if it looks like we're not gonna reach it though. So, I'm going to just speed up time until we get our batteries back. No? Okay. Once again, I'm at Dex Awash and I'm not Tanks getting unblast. oxygen. Which is weird because I definitely was last game. But it's fine. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor! Yeah. Oxygen is running kind of low, or compressed O2 rather. So, let's go ahead. Our engineer, uh, he's pretty well rested. Let's go ahead and get our compressor back. And after that, let's put up on the engine so we can keep the engine in check, get us a little bit more fuel efficiency and whatnot. Uh, Newman, you can stay asleep for now. seem to be pretty far away from any land now, so I think being on the surface is probably okay. If not, we'll just dive quickly and uh, just jive until they don't see us anymore. Let's go ahead and speed up time again. We'll let our guys get a little more rested up. Schaden repariert. Erledigt. Schaden repariert. Oh, what was my guy? I guess we took some damage during the... Depth charge dropping, but it didn't give me any notification. Erledigt. Schaden repariert. But this guy just finished all of it, so I guess we're okay. I guess it was just minor damage to, uh... Man, look at how far away this is now. Of course, I haven't been doing any interval timing on this course nonsense, so... I have no idea, uh, what the reference difference is here. I guess there's a lightning storm going on. Uh, so I'm just gonna drag this out here. You can see I got all the lines pretty lined up, and unless they're doing a diversive maneuver, which they don't seem to be, uh, we have a pretty safe idea of the direction they're heading. So let's go ahead. First, I need to turn that off. Let's go a little parallel to them. Let's see what this distance is. A hundred kilometers? That seems pretty reasonable. Based on me not knowing anything about submarine warfare. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Go ahead and keep moving here. It is going to be... Well, let's see. Since we have our guy on the engine now, we need to be able to catch up with these guys. So let's, whoa, all the way over by Alaska. Yeah, a little 
fucking controls. But not the worst. Oh. You can only center the view with this button. I just keep forgetting that. Alright, let's speed up time again. Now we're going flank speed. So we are definitely closing distance on these guys. They are also altering their course. Let's go ahead and get a, a spot check on that one. Let's see, we don't need visual uh, like checks right now. Let's go ahead and put this guy on navigation table and max out the crew under him just so we have uh, a little bit more fuel efficiency because this guy appears to be, yeah, my map keeps freaking out. This guy seems to be leading us to the Americas. And I have not gone this far out before, so that seems like it could be rough in terms of fuel. We have a lot now, but I mean, who the hell knows what route we have to take back. So, onwards. I should have spot checked that guy while I had a pause. Here's another one. Damn. So, let's say about here is probably the next projected course. I guess I should be using a different type of mark, just so this is a little less confusing. For reference, I'll draw this again, but this time I'll use this marker, just so we have a bit a visual variety in our line types. So here is the newest projected course based on the other reference points I've found. This guy's probably going. I wouldn't be surprised if he's kind of swinging around down here for some reason. I don't know. I don't know if the ship routes are influenced by like actual ocean currents in real life or anything like that, but we're just going to follow this guy and see what happens. Our first mate is getting pretty tired, and this guy is completely rested, so let's switch places. Sleep. Newman. Back to the radio room. Uh, Becker, our other sonar guy, is also getting a little tired. But that's okay. Our captain's doing pretty good, and we can always switch him over. Let's go ahead and speed up again. Research complete. Okay, so when we get back, we'll have our snorkels. Okay, this is all completely just me taking random guesses here, by the way. Uh, he appears to be sticking pretty close to the route we had before. Uh, let's just take some measurements. Okay, we're not as close as I thought we would be there. That's fine. Let's go ahead... Let's try and shoot the gap here a little bit. Let's try and get closer. Uh, we'll definitely want to surf or submerge before we get too close, just so they don't see us. But I want to try and keep our fuel usage up and our battery usage down until we absolutely need to. Okay. Now. Uh, it behooves us to slow down. That allows us to hear better on our hydrophones. Let's go ahead and do periscope depth. This guy's still on the hydrophone, so once we're underwater, this will, this hydrophone, will start, the radius will start to increase. We'll see here in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and man, or give him a couple guys to help out. Oh, this guy's really tired. Mm. Before we get too far along, I'm actually going to send Becker to sleep and put the captain on the hydrophone listening post. Take these guys off. Becker. While you're asleep, these guys aren't actually using anything, but I don't want to forget and have them helping that guy out later. Uh, this guy, 
He's actually pretty well rested now, so call her get back out here. Get your ass on the navigation table. Hopefully our engineer's okay. <laughs> uh, he's pretty tired and we're about to go into combat here. So it might be worth... Oh man, it looks like I like just didn't get enough distance in Sector AM. So we might have to go back up there and just grab a little corner and then head back. So our route back might be up here. Okay. I think we're doing okay here so far. We haven't been detected by anything. I should probably update my course. Course auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Let's see how far we're 20 km 25 kilometers. Our hydro Why is this guy not picking up anything? There's some things in this game that aren't really explained sometimes, and I don't know if it's just me being... Oh, yeah, that's why, because we're still above deck. I see. I've been paused so much, we haven't actually had time to dive down enough for hydros yet. I'll go ahead and speed up time. Just to... Wechseln auf E-Motor. There we go. Okay, I wanted to show this hydrophone radius increasing, but it's pretty apparent. Whoops. Yeah, you can see as we go down, our sight line starts getting lower and lower because we don't have anyone on the top of the deck with the Nox looking around now. So that the sight's eventually going to go all the way down since we don't have anyone on any of the observation stuff, like periscopes. Uh, our hydros, I guess this is as large as they get. We already have two people helping out the cap El Capitan here. Once again, I'm not marking this guy, and I should be. That's fine. We'll do a new course evaluation in a bit. This guy's moving pretty quick, so it seems pretty obvious. Okay. Course auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Okay, we're still far away, so. What's up to speed? Schneller, schneller! I don't want to make this chase too long, if I can help it. Oh my god, he's going to Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen! Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Oh, that is not what I meant. Let's do a spot check again. Damn. We'll let time play a little bit more. Mark again. And from that, we will get our new course estimate. Bam. So we're just trying to get parallel uh, until we close some distance, and then hopefully we can just cut over and intercept these guys broadside. It's pretty standard operating procedure uh, with naval combat. God damn it, these guys going fast. Alright, our batteries have drained very quickly because I've been in times five speed for a while. Let's surface, I guess. I feel like these guys are actually pretty far away now, so I guess they probably won't see. Yeah, like 70 kilometers. God damn. Cool air reserves. Alright, we're, we're closing the gap here. Probably shouldn't get too ahead of myself with the time compression stuff here. Before we get too close, let's go ahead and get our cannon. Really needs to go to sleep. I'm glad I caught that. Uh, let's go and turn on the air compressor. I guess we're just hitting waves and kind of off course. Anyway. Alright, the compressor's on. He's a smart man. He's to to That's why we pay Felix West the big bucks. Alright. I definitely don't want to turn on the radio right now. I guess I can have 
Oh boy. Oh, Felix. Damn. It's Felix that cooks. And he's a tired boy, so he can't cook. That's fine. Our discipline's not terrible. We're not an alert, so I guess Newman can go play cards with the boys. That'll help. Whoops. Let's go ahead. Close some distance again here. Whoa. Ugh. I tried to slow that down, but I fucking missed. Once again, I'm not marking this person's position. <laughs> can you tell I haven't done this before? Let's do another estimate. I mean, it seems like he's going in a pretty straight line now. But goddamn, is he taking us so far away? Sorry if you hear my cats. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. There's some vocal yeah, boys. Alright, we're still going, I believe. No, we're not. Oh god damn it. Because we don't have our engineer, we can't go to flank speed now. So this guy's probably gonna lose us again. Damn. Uh Felix, I'm sorry to do this to you, my friend. Let's figure out how to control this game and after that is it yeah, yeah yeah we'll drink some coffee boss when you can't sleep just drink coffee that's all there is to it let's have a drink another one i don't think there's cattle yeah, crashes in this game drink another one bastard oh he has a oh i guess he drank two something Okay. Now that he's back, he's wired to the grill, wired to the gills, uh, with caffeine. Uh, we still need, oh, because we lost, I guess. When can I do flank speed, please? Schneller, schneller. Schnell. Speed up. Alright, now we should be able to catch up with these guys. Uh, homeboy, our captain, is already observing, so hopefully we'll see them pretty quick. We can always dive down and pick them up on hydros. Uh, just let time pass, I guess. We are close. Okay, loading. Entering area. Cool. Okay. I guess I didn't need to worry about being selfie that much. Who knows? Maybe we could have been spotted. I don't know how this game works. Okay. We don't need this guy on navigation for combat. So, first, let's have him. Also, we should get the lights on red. Just because. I think we should be able to. Yes, add to Q. Turn on the light. Just for the immersion, right? I don't know if it really affects any of your discipline. I do know. When you're hunting something, uh, we don't have it yet, but once we get close, it should say bounty hunt or something like that, and that's like our course that's in. Uh, our crew's like amped because they're hunting. So there's some things that kind of offset some of the problems uh, you can have with discipline in the game. And we're really catching up on them now. I guess once we close the distance. Uh, the game did some rubber banding a bit, but we're pretty close here. I uh, probably shouldn't be on the surface. Let's go ahead, full standard speed ahead. Uh, let's go to. Auf zero tief again. What's going on? Wechseln auf e motor. Switch to electric engines. Thank you. All right, this guy, Becker. Let's get him on the hydros. We're gonna be a periscope depth, so our hydros work. 
Uh, we don't need sight. Well, it'd be nice, but we don't need it. Uh... Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Actually, let's stay parallel with them. Try and overtake them. Hang on, I keep clicking the wrong thing. <laughs> Jeez. Yes. Schneller, Point schneller! Oh, do some more time compression. Hopefully we will close the distance and the hydros will pick them up. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Detection. Zu Befehl. Freighters. Alarm! Auf Gefechtsstation! All right. Well, our engineer is once again exhausted, but he did get us here. And that's all I can really ask. Uh... Transport spot. Okay, we're out of range of the radio, so this guy on radio is not super useful right now. I might get him on the second hydro. No, I'm gonna leave him there. Let's get our captain on an attack periscope. And Kohler, you're you're awake, dude. Just it's fine. Let's go ahead and put him uh, on the observation periscope. So I believe he can also, well, no, I guess our uh, hydrophone is more range, so let's move back. Okay. okay. What's our depth? Or periscope depth? Unknown freighter. Unknown freighter. The Liberty, I think, is this one. Uh, only because I've watched a video of this already. But uh, that's fine. Let's go ahead. Let's do manual mode with this guy. Oh, you can use this while it's paused? That seems a little broken, but okay. Wow, you can adjust the height while it's paused too? Yeah, that sounds really fair. Uh, zoom. Uh, I don't know what these mean. Lock. What is this gun symbol? Or whatever that is. Let's lock that. I'm quite sure that is the thing we need. Let's see what our view modes show here. Is it not going to give me a tooltip? Oh. That's a little confusing. What's the difference than the last two? Anyway, uh, now this is kind of cool. I, I didn't even realize this was in the game until a little bit ago. What was it? Empire Bell? I'm sorry. I need to see. Liberty. Duh. So let's find a Liberty. Here we go. Uh, judging by the masts, I would say that's it. It's, let's unpause here. I, I mean, I would say that's it. So let's go ahead and recognize that. That, I think this is the targeting solution here. That will help uh, generate our targeting solution. Uh, this is stuff sea levels on the level the highest map can target ship. I don't know what this stuff is, but all right, sea level is a little hard to tell, but it's saying here, rotate the ghost image so that it's sea level is on the level of highest mass. So sea level is about here. So let's say, yeah, I mean, the seas are pretty rough, so it's not very easy to guess. Uh, 0.4 degrees. Uh, I'm assuming that's using some kind of math regarding the curvature of the Earth to get us a distance. So we have the range. It's three kilometers. Uh, what are our other tools? A chronometer. Uh, 
position periscope at the front of the target. Start. And we're basically just going to time until the... Oh, that's hard to see. Oh, it was a little short. Uh, let's see, what did that do? I said it, didn't I? Am I supposed to change that? God damn it. Well, let's just do it again. Oh, I see. I just had to hit again to confirm. Okay, so his speed is about 10 kilometers per hour. Uh, we know he's 3 kilometers away. Uh, what is this? Visually match the course. I don't know. Something like that. Okay, so I think we just figured out our firing solution. Uh, okay. What's our engineer doing? He's probably asleep. He's asleep. Okay. We can have him warm up some torpedoes. In the meantime, let's take a gander here. Just visually confirming that I actually have the right thing here. Okay, the one that we want to kill is the closest one, which is perfect. If it had been this one, we wouldn't have a very good firing angle here, because these other boats would probably take it. But, we know this guy's solution, more or less. I'm pretty sure I just figured that out. Maybe I have to close this first. How do I... Oh, duh, because I'm in the... No? I'm sorry. I thought I could select this and it would give me the targeting information up here. So, I'm not sure if this was what I just came up with. I don't remember what angle I came up with. But this is either the one that I just did, or the actual uh, the AI that the captain has calculated this. Uh, so our firing solution is only 8% right now. Uh, he has to... Torpedo course berechnen. Oh, now he's calculating it. Torpedo I, can, ausrichten. I can also have Becker, our sonar guy, our hydrophone guy, also assist with calculating this. So, let's see. I think there's some way I can just put this stuff in and have it fire immediately. And I mean, it, it'll probably hit. But the percentage here is just what the AI is coming up with. So we might not even have to worry about that. But we do need uh, our tubes flooded first. So, whoa, goodness gracious. Let's pause, because clearly I don't know what I'm doing. Stop going in the first person. That's not what I'm hitting. Alright. Engineer boy. You didn't warm up any of them. What the fuck? What's wrong with you, dude? Can I hold down the control? Okay, that's not what I want. I want to add the cue and warm up another one. Is that how this works? Apparently not. Well, we'll get at least one warm, hopefully. Out of radio range for, uh, believe it or not, being thousands of miles away from, uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, we're a good 5,000 kilometers away, which explains why we're not in range. Jeez, we're gonna freaking be in Nova Scotia soon. Alright, anyway, we have a tube flooding. Uh, let's just let time pass a bit here. We'll let him 
get one warmed up, and then I guess we're just gonna have to manually set up uh, the other ones. Herr Kaloy. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Okay, so one's warm. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. This one next. Uh, <laughs> we can watch him pull this out. Actually, our discipline's pretty good right now. We're in the middle of an alarm, so we can't really do anything about that. Uh, people are pretty fatigued, which is kind of an issue. This guy is on the radio, which isn't doing us much good anyway. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Let's go ahead and put him to sleep. Our engineer definitely needs more coffee. But for now, let's watch the numbers too. Let's see how much I can do. Okay, firing solution is getting pretty good on this Liberty ship. Uh, I think we'll be just fine shooting two torpedoes. Uh, center of mass, so to speak. This thing right in the center, down it. Um, I'm sure it'd be just fine to surface and fire the deck gun at it too, but I think it does have some in place weapons on it. Uh, if we check, let's see, can I do that from here or do I have to be in first person? Manual mode. So, Liberty, okay, it doesn't say anything about weapons, but I believe these things on the fore and aft parts of the boat are guns. Wow, this guy's doing a great job with his periscope here. Alright, we have a pretty good firing solution now. What? Um, I'm not sure... How you actually point the torpedoes to go this way. Whether you just program them and they turn, or if it makes more sense to be kind of pointing. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. So let's go ahead and do this. Just to kind of hedge our bets, so to speak. Just turn a little bit so that our angle of the bow is a little less off. Yeah, so I think this is our current course, and this is our current bearing, which is the direction we're facing. So I think this guy is probably going to be somewhere in here. So if we fire, even if it's not 100% straight, I think with the firing solution these guys give, Capitaine. I think that kind of accounts for that. So... Let's see. I can go ahead and launch from here. Oh, this guy actually warmed up another one. Nice. Uh, apparently dispersion and speed are not things in the game yet, but you can change uh, how they disperse and how fast they are when they leave the tubes, I guess. Rohr 1, bewässern! Rohr 2, bewässern! Uh, let's see. Is the estimate going to go up anymore now? Oh, it's yeah, more fertig. It's okay, we, be, oh, we got both tubes flooded. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we don't really have to do anything. Los! Let's go ahead and fire. My first time firing torps in this game. Let's see what it do. That angle seems good, just visually looking. Ooh, maybe a little too slow. Uh, anyway, I should probably be paying attention to what my boat's doing here. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. Torpedo covered half the distance. Okay, maybe this is good. It might be in kind of a start. Oh god damn it. 
40 Sekunden bis Torpedo einschlagen. Treffer. Oh no. We were sped up to that. Schwere Schäden am Rumpf. Well, we had him. That's pretty good. Der A ging daneben, Herr Kaloy. Alright, so one missed. That's fine. We don't need to take these down. I mean, it'd be nice, but... I can always see that with the deck gun as well. Let's go ahead. Tanks anblasen. Surface. Uh, I'm sure I'm running low. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. New contact. Where's this? Unknown group. Where is that? I've got so much shit on the map. I'm not sure. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Low air reserves. Not really, but okay. Alright. Wechseln gonna, auf Dieselmotor! We're gonna surface. We already surfaced. Uh, let's... Hell yeah. Okay. Feels good, man. I haven't killed my entire crew yet, which is really saying something. Alright. Current distance to these guys. Two kilometers. Uh, speed's fine, I guess. This guy really needs to sleep, so we'll let him do that. We'll pump him full of coffee if we really need him later. Uh, we don't need any more sonar. Yeah, Let's get this guy on the radio. Fuller? Radio. Alright, so we are going to close the distance here and finish this thing off with our deck gun. I guess it's... No, I guess... Pontoon. Oh, those are like five rats. Yeah, maybe let's not... Which one is this? This one. Torpedo course berechnen. Yeah, why not? Let's get a torpedo course going. Why can Becker not help? Because he's on the surface. That's right. Let's get Becker. Oh, he can't be on the observation thing. I keep forgetting only first mates can do that. Let's get Kohler on the observation periscope. Yeah, that's fine. Newman. Oh wow. Those are some rough 
Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Alright, there's the rescue pontoons. Godspeed, boys. That being said, your technology needs to go. Uh, let's see. Torpedo ausrichten. Do I need to sink these guys? I guess this still counts towards my tonnage. Whatever. Let's just determine what it is. But for now, the most pressing matter is taking a look at it, I guess. Center view. Kohler, you piece of shit. He went to sleep. I guess it did take a while for me to do that. Copy Get team. your ass out of bed and get back on that gun. The gun stays in the same spot. Minor, minor touch, but I do like it. Oh my god, we're gonna run into this. <laughs> uh, let's go first gear reverse, just just so we stop a little faster. Because we're still going about 12 kilometers. Okay, that's one. Schneller, schneller! Call her where you at. Come on, dude. Get in that conning tower. Now, I, just because, why not? Uh, oh, why did it switch me to him? That's weird. Wait, he went back to bed? What the fuck? Alright, you piece of shit. Let me take over. Clearly, an expert needs to do this. Climb up in our neat first person. Uh, okay. Yeah, sometimes you have to get on the, the ladder points. Okay. Bestätigt. Manual. Alright, you're going down, Liberty. Why is that just happening? Alright. Uh, come on. That does not hit, I can see that. These are some rough seas. Good lord. Alright, it definitely appears to be going under the water at this point, but... Fire on deck. We've got the ammo. We just set a fire on deck, apparently. Oh, there she goes. Alright, don't waste too much of my ammo. I just want to... An overhead look. Yeah, it's definitely. Okay. Good job, boys. What a what a great sink. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Schneller, schneller! Why not? Herr Kaloy. Let's get him. Uh, I'm an idiot and I don't know what nation this belongs to. Apparently British. I mean, I know that's the Union Jack, but I don't know what this flag actually is. Um, anyway, it's the same nation as the Liberty, so we might as well kill that. Uh, the Swedish freighter, uh, he was in a bad place. Torpedo course wrong place right at the wrong time. He's going down too, I think. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Zigzag. 
Flight speed. Schneller! Schneller! Look, discipline's getting pretty low. Too much work, alarm fatigue. I'm surprised there's not like a. Oh, I can send the report that we sent to Liberty. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten Let's go ahead setzen. And turn around here and get a shot off on the freighter. This guy, oh god, I don't have any fucking torpedoes ready, do I? I have them loaded up, but they're not gonna be hot. Rohr 3, bewässern! Rohr 4, bewässern! We'll just see what happens here. Is there any guy on the torps? Why is it not firing? Do they have to be warmed up to fire? Oh no. Rohr 3, bewässern! Rohr 4, bewässern! Is that how that works? Holy shit. Wow, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. I thought you just had to keep them warm for a better chance of doing something with them. Well, hopefully our discipline doesn't get so low while we do this. It's getting pretty low. This one fourteen percent. what's the other thing I can do? I can put different types of food in there. Hello. Go ahead. Let's get some fruits. Or some vegetables around here. Just like one minor mistake after another. Course that's It's definitely correct our course here. Preheating. I thought our fifth tube was in the rear. It is! Why the fuck is he cracking that one? I'm so confused. I guess I gave him the order to prep that one. Oh, it says wow right here. Another mistake. <laughs> Get to the front. <laughs> Look at him go. Get the tube ready. I'm sure I'm not even remotely on course now. Kind of close. Let's slow down. We're slowing down. Copy uh, team. This guy. No. Yeah, Hold on. Get on the observation periscope. Becker, get off the listening room since from the surface and go to the ring. Felix, you poor bastard, I think you're going to have to drink some more coffee here soon. Alright, why did I just lose my target solution? Oh, it's still there. Huh. Okay. 3, 95%. That's got to hit, right? Kurs auf diese like Koordinaten setzen. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. You're just fucked. Uh, well, let's just fire. We're not Nos! on course with them, but I just want to see. Yeah, it does. It does change direction. Okay. So I guess the the torps get programmed to 
turn like that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and preheat. Hopefully that one Torp kills that guy and then we can shoot this one. It's not really smart to just shoot one, but... They're just freighters, right? Who gives a shit? Legen Sie den Kurs an. We can speed up and shoot this guy next. Schneller, oh, schneller. This one's really bad. <laughs> uh, someone's gonna freak out at something. Is there a way around that? Herr Kaloy. Jawohl. Sorry, I really don't want my guys to flip out. I would love to kill these two things here. percent. Let's see how low you can go. Okay. Oh, that's Torpedo ausrichten. Where did the roller not go on the observation? The torpedo is on the halben way to the goal. I totally missed what he just said about that torp. It looks good. 40 Sekunden bis Torpedo Einschlag. Wow. 20 Sekunden. Treffer. Minimale Schäden. Minimal damage. Okay. Well, he's probably not going anywhere now. Uh, we can drop him with the deck gun. Yeah. I mean. There's definitely some pontoons here, so they're clearly upset that we hit their boat and not playing on staying. There it is. That's far away to hit them. Discipline, 5%. Come on, boys. How do I leave combat? I like if I just want to turn the alarm off, I guess I can also take these guys off. Same with that. Oh, right. a fear! solution. We just need the fire and get out of here. I think. Oh, fear! Los! Los! Alright, and I Legen guess we should get the fuck out of here now. Oh no, sorry. I need to kill these things too. Alright, Felix. You poor bastard. You've done so much already, but can you go preheat that stern torpedo again? Pretty worried about this low discipline. Four <laughs> percent. Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. 40 Sekunden bis Torpedo Einschlag. Ooh. 30 Sekunden. Looks like that's. 20 Sekunden. Not gonna hit. 10 Sekunden bis Einschlag. Oh, that's so painful. Oh well. Uh, let's just down this den guy and call it a day. I, I'm really worried. <laughs> Someone in my crew is gonna Der freak ging out right her now. Her. Let's turn around. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. We can use our stern torpedo on this guy and not even worry about the deck gun. But I do need to get. Torpedo, Torpedo, ausrichten! Yeah. 98% firing solution. Oh, 2%. Feels bad, man. Uh, <laughs> can a radio guy play music? Probably not during combat, huh? Herr Kaloy? 
And he's already on the radio. I I hear Kaloi. Well, shit. Hopefully, no one has a mental breakdown. Oh, fünf. You know. Bewässern. Oh, fünf bewässert. All right. Once we get relatively turned around, we have a hundred percent firing solution. It's probably fine to just fire now. Los. If not. 40 Sekunden bis Torpedo Einschlag. Uh, let's just do. 30 Sekunden. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Poor Herr Felix, Kalor. get up. <laughs> uh, let me pause just so we don't miss this last torpedo hit. Felix, poor bastard. Drink another cough. Or can he not drink another? And he only drinks so much coffee today. Kapitän, 20 Sekunden. Ei, ei, Herr Kaloy. Nope. <laughs> you can just keep drinking. Okay. Uh, look at him. He's already wanting to go back to the motor. What a beast. Um, what did I want him to do? Yes, I did want him to go to the motor so we unlock faster speeds. He's already doing it. Sailor's in a critical state. Sailors are dying on board. Stabilize them with a radio man that has medical training. Dietrich Luther. What's Dietrich's deal? I'm not used to this kind of happenstance. I'm used to killing my whole crew out there. Can I click him? Oh shit! What's he doing up there? Why is he up there? He's a beam. Alright. Hello. Uh, no, that's not it. Medical train. So I guess I need to put medical stuff on this guy's inventory slot. I guess he was on the conning tower and just fucking took a hit from something. That missed too? Oh no. Der Aal ging daneben, Herr Kaloy. How did two miss in a row? I guess I should have tried calculating that myself. No, oh, god damn it. Our discipline's really good now for some reason. I guess because. Did the Liberty finally sink and we got a combat boost or something? Oh, you know what? I wonder if that sailor like killed himself on the Connie Tower. Wow, that's dark. Uh, well, our discipline's okay now, so I guess let's just get the fuck out of here. Schneller, schneller! Actually, for course off these coordinates setzen. Sorry, I keep flip flopping here. I'm just still figuring everything out for sure. Okay, slow down. Let's go ahead and get color on the that gun. He's 
seas are rough, man. I guess it's because we're so far off land. Oh shit, well there that goes. Nice. Okay. Anyone sunk? Nice, we got 6,500 bucks for that. Or currency, whatever, the, whatever that is. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen! Shush. Leave me out that. Alright, color. Graph. Graph, go to bed. What are you doing? Color. Go to bed too. Bunch of sleepy boys. Actually, well. I can't put Felix on the motor again. Poor bastard. <laughs> He's already gone through so much. Alright. It shows the boat. I guess that's just like the sonar signal of it. Because it's definitely gone. Let's go ahead and erase this stuff. This mission has taken a lot longer than I was expecting, but it's not boring. I mean, it's not several things. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen! Pretty. Uh, got enough energy. Man, I only have one team on the left. Load that. I'm sure you can load more than one right now. That's fine. Herr Kaloi? I'm not used to hitting the function keys this often. Oh, eins geladen. Low discipline again. Who would have thought? Okay, Felix, since you're done with that, go manage the engine so we can get some damn speed on these guys. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen! Setzen. Right up alongside him and hit him with the deck gun. Kohler, wake up. We need you on the deck. Before someone else in my crew kills themselves. Let's down this thing and get out of here. split off. It was awesome. Map. Very cool. Our discipline's gone up really quick because we're not in combat now. Hell yeah. We did it, boys. Alright. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Hopefully the rest of this is pretty simple. First of all, let me get rid of all this nonsense over here. Man, look at how far we got. <laughs> That's pretty cool. 
Anyway, let's go up here and just cut through here, and that'll be all we need, I'm sure. Let's start heading back this way. Uh, should be relatively easy to go through this quickly. Color. Play some cards, buddy. You earned it. West. You poor bastard. Go to sleep. Well. <laughs> I like saying that, don't I? Copy to Probably load at least one more for I guarantee though, we'll be able to see that. Schneller! Schneller! Alright. Got someone on the radio, so that should be good. Uh, we're not close enough to any reception to actually play music, which is unfortunate. Alright. Back we go. All those little dinghies are probably fucked. To be honest. They're pretty far away from land. Sorry, boys. 13 days at sea. We're finally making our way back. Although we have a bit of a detour to make. But we have plenty of fuel. On current usage, we still have a range of 10,000 kilometers. And it's 36, about 5,000 kilometers left, so we got plenty. Let's check food. Are we gonna be disappointed by someone dying because they don't have any food? Also really tired. I'll leave him up for just a bit. These are what he might be Sleep. 
that's her. Sailors have complained about meals prepared by Conrad Otto. The ship's cook shakes with fear, aware of the purpose of my visit. After all, he wasted a large part of the rations. What punishment will be appropriate for him? Uh, well, I don't know if arrest is necessarily appropriate punishment. Or execution. Uh, let's go to the toilet. Get out of here. Maybe, uh, well, we're already in travel. Okay, we have a really terrible radio signal, but maybe we can hear this. Nope, never mind. We're about to be in range of it, though, I think. No, we already lost it again. Huh. trip is coming to an end unless we really get destroyed just doing this final little loop. I don't expect to see anything at all and I wish I had been paying attention to this before because this is adding several hours slash at least a day to our trip probably. But it's fine. Gas is cheap. Food is kind of cheap. Starting to pick up some radio signals. Maybe once we're back in uh, AM here, we can listen to something. All right, Becker is finally back. Kohler, he's ready. Observation pers periscope. Oh, actually, put him on the radio. Our radio guy is pretty tired. Becker going to the radio. Newman go to sleep. It's this one little dot. Won't let me get rid of. Huh. Alright, patrol complete. <laughs> Great, we did it. Felix is getting pretty tired again. Captain, all the caffeine is catching up to him. He knows to go to bed. Our captain doesn't know when to quit. However, go to bed. Color, take over. Navigation.
Alright, this should be a pretty straightforward drive home. <clears throat> Unless there just something happens to be someone on the tip of France here, which I doubt. We're still pretty far away from land, so I'm not too worried about it. About 40% fuel. Not too bad. Not too bad. Alright. Back from a successful patrol. Uh, very minor engine damage incurred from a slight depth charge encounter, but. Aside from being terrifying, uh, all that needs is a, a change of pants, so we're okay. And apparently a couple hours fixing the engine. But, you know what? That's fine. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen! Let's see. Bestätigt. Just this right here, man. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen! Legen Sie den Kurs an. Bestätigt. Alright, let's go turn in the mission. Let's see what they have to say. Beim BDU wird viel über ihre letzte Patrouillenfahrt geredet. Gute Arbeit. Sink the ship. Checkmark. Genuinely impressed by the scope of success. Tonnage sunk zero tons. Excuse me? I don't get that. Uh, I feel like that's a glitch. But it's okay. We got a lot of money and a percentage of reputation. <laughs> Level up. Loud standard. Uh, my crew probably needs a break. Let's see what we can do. Well, I probably won't buy any of this right now. I don't know how messed up all our stuff is. Yeah, I'll a little bit. Do you think it's... The man doesn't know when to sleep. Neither does Becker. Alright, you know what? You never listen to any music. Let's get Newman on the radio. Play with some tunes. Captain? Beim BDU wird viel über ihre letzte Patrouillenfahrt geredet. Gute Arbeit. Let's see. Task completed with the research from Snorkels. So let's. How do I get this guy back? Beim BDU wird viel über ihre letzte Patrouillenfahrt geredet. Well, that's the patrol. Uh, I won't bore you further with the intricacies of the menus. So, yeah, hopefully that was informative, gave you an idea of what the game is like. Uh, I probably wasn't the best person to show it to you, but I kind of know what I'm doing now, I guess. We sunk some ships. Uh, what else can you really ask for? So yeah, thanks guys, bye.